not take long Ooh, he's pulling a little drag if it's a peacock this might be a new pb rj what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to yet another south florida video if you guys cannot tell i'm mildly obsessed with fishing and filming down here right now the fishing up in our area is just so just saw a fish roll the fishing up in our area is so dang tough right now and it's so easy to drive down here real quick put some bait in the water and catch some awesome fish today we are targeting peacock bass again i really like catching these fish y'all know that so it, it was a bucket list fish for a long time then when i finally caught one it was that's all it took then i was hooked so we got some live shiners we're gonna put them out here and we're gonna see what we can get into today let's go all right y'all so just throwing out the live shiners we got some big live shiners and what we're trying to do is just throw them up somewhere in the vicinity of these pilings on this bridge and see if anything picks them up these bridge hold largemouth bass they hold peacock bass i think there's some clown knife fish in here so the opportunities are endless for this area so we're going to put one out here and see what we can't get into all right first bite of the day right there guys first bite of the day there we go fish on all right not the target species for sure <laughs> but i think that's I'm pretty sure that's a little no that's a large mouth that is a large mouth right there i'll check him out just a little guy throw him back all right guys we already got another bite got another bite there we go fish on man this is going quick today guys fish number two what we got here oh it's gonna be another largey but guys they're tiny got him hooked right in the corner of the mouth but man they are those are some tiny bass guys we we are targeting something much much larger than that see you buddy i'm not mad about the start i mean we got two fish to eat there real real quick but hopefully we can get something a little bit bigger we're gonna try out here i saw a fish roll out here just a minute ago so we're gonna put one out here away from the bridge a little bit just to see if there's anything hanging out up here in this grass or i don't know like you guys know i don't know this area that well i mean i know there's fish here but as far as like where they hang out or what kind of structure they like i'm not sure on that at all it is chilly here in south florida this morning they just had a huge cold snap come through a couple days ago so we are down to like 46 47 degrees but it's gonna warm up nice it's gonna be almost 80 within a few hours so if i can just bear through the cold to start the day we'll be all right because we're gonna get into some warmer weather here in just a little while oh they're right there he got my bait let's put it out here again Oh, that's a that's a fish on oh guys he was running with that did he get my bait no he didn't get it but there's definitely fish right there whatever that was he hit it i don't know if you guys can see these fish waking i don't know if those are bass or if they're peacocks or what they are but I pulled it out of his mouth y'all he was eating that right there and i pulled it out of his mouth oh there he's on. he's on that's a fish on oh, that's a decent fish that's a decent fish heck yeah oh yeah man let's get him up here guys that's a good large mouth bass right there holy smokes i was not prepared for that y'all check that out i pulled it out of his mouth and oh, y'all check that dude out holy smokes i pulled it out of his mouth to start and then he came back and just crushed it what a nice large mouth bass that's probably two and a half three pound large mouth bass i can we can throw a weight on him just to see here i got it with me i don't know how well y'all can see that i don't know where i need to get on camera to see that but that is a 2.3.02 somewhere along there. Largemouth bass. 
y'all check him out what a nice fish all right see you buddy heck yeah well that was a nice little surprise um as i told you guys in the intro i am targeting peacock bass but i was not expecting to catch a stud largemouth like that i mean i know it's not a stud but three pounds good size fish so let's put some more live shiners in here and keep this thing going let's go all right guys so we have changed locations we've actually got a friend of the channel mr rj has invited out to his private area here i don't want to give away too much where we're at because i don't want you guys like hitting rj up all the time but he's gonna try to go out here and put me on some peacock bass and there's something else we're after in here but y'all gonna have to see that in another video we'll talk about that in a little bit guys we just put our first line out and we're already fish on right there i mean it did not take long Ooh, he's pulling a little drag if it's a peacock this might be a new pb rj rj if this is a P if this is a peacock i'm telling you right now it's a pb oh is that a snakehead is that a snakehead <laughs> no freaking way y'all y'all ask for this all the time y'all check this out right here that's my very first oh no <laughs> Y'all, I know I got him on camera though. That was a caught fish. That was just a, that was an easy release right there. Man, oh man. So he he didn't break me off. He just came off the hook right there, but uh, that was a caught fish. I had him on the bank. I might not have got to touch him and take a picture with him, but that was a caught fish. All right, guys, there's another bite. There we go, fish on. There's another one. Is that another snake? Is that a bass, you said? Yeah, okay guys, so we're on the large mount. What is going on today with my hook pulling? What is seriously happening right now? That's the second fish in a row I've lost. And these are my Mewtwo light hooks. These things typically do not fail me whatsoever. Seriously. All right, finally got one on the bank. <laughs> And of course, the smallest fish of the day is the one that we got up here because why wouldn't it be? Another little largemouth bass, not even close to the size of the snakehead I caught and the other largemouth. That I technically didn't catch the largemouth because he wasn't up on the bank. I'm counting the snakehead as a catch, but uh, another little largemouth. All right, see you, friend. All right, RJ has found them, y'all. That's what we've been after, and RJ got him a peacock. He said before we came over here, this was the spot. We don't break them off. There we go. Nice little peacock bass. There we go. Nice little pound and a half, two pound peacock right there. Good job, man. I was starting to wonder if he was going to catch one or not. <laughs> it's your home water and everything. Oh. Swirling right there. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh my gosh, what's happening? All right, y'all, so I did actually tie a bobber on here just to let that shiner swim around underneath of it just to see, because what they're doing, we're in a heavy grass bed right here, and what these shiners are doing are immediately just diving down into that grass. So I'm hoping if I can get him suspended over top of the grass a little bit, he's going to be putting up a little bit more of a fight, and these peacock bass can come in here and smash him. All right, y'all, I think it's on. There we go, fish on. That's the trick right there, fish on. what is going on right now seriously all right guys we're gonna be on right here there we go fish on gonna be another bass <laughs> a little bit better bass but what can i say man they just follow me they just follow me <laughs> another little largemouth bass rj's over there laughing telling me that they're normally just peacocks out here and all I'm doing is just catching largemouth bass, like on every cast. So, not a bad one, though. We're going to get this dude back in the water. Thank you, buddy. He's over there catching largemouth now. He is working him a little bit. Nice little largey. 
RJ's got him holding up down there. Another little pound, pound and a half bass. We've caught some bass in here today, y'all. Like they just they've been hitting good, but we were targeting peacock, like I told y'all at the very beginning of this video early this morning. And we're about to wrap it up, but I mean it was just it's been a great day of fishing. Don't get me wrong. I am not mad about the fishing whatsoever. Um but just never got into a peacock. RJ caught that one that you guys saw, which was really cool. But and I'm not upset about it. I mean, there's gonna be plenty more opportunity to catch peacock bass because I could have came down here and caught nothing. Because let's be honest, that's not out of the realm of possibility for me. All right, something's got my sight shiner super excited here. I think he's on. There we go. Fish on. Let's see. I'm just gonna not mess around and pull him in this time. Y'all, this is fine, but I did not come down here to catch largemouth bass. What is going on? Like, I am destroying largemouth today. Definitely not the target species, but yet another largemouth bass. But, RJ, you know what this one is, right? Dink. No, it don't matter that it's a dink. It's about numbers. You know what this one is? This is a six-pack. And y'all know what we do when we hit the six-pack. Let's roll that clip. Crack a cold one. Bear. all right see you buddy all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this one again huge shout out to rj for allowing me to come out man i Thanks, greatly man. appreciate it yeah, thank you so no much um had a blast didn't get into a peacock this morning but we still got some time down here so no worries about that we'll get one but i had a good time like bass fishing i mean it's never bad when you're catching no, not bass all. i mean i caught that three pounder at the bridge this morning caught a couple nice ones here but the prize jewel of the day was the snakehead snake. rj said yeah. it was definitely one of the bigger ones he'd seen here so you know I, I didn't get to hold it in my hand but that was a caught fish i had him up on the bank i definitely would have liked to have got a picture or two with him heck i might have even taken him home and eaten him but uh i ain't mad about it because at least i caught one i put him on the bank and he fought hard so got a little taste of that got a new species knocked off the list so i ain't gonna complain guys i truly hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a great big thumbs up if you're new here to the cameraman ron channel Make sure you smash that subscribe button, 2022 style. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care, and we'll see you soon. Keep reeling, lady. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, mama. He's so heavy. He's right underneath. He's so heavy. He's so heavy. He's so heavy. Ow, it's in my back. Ow. Oh, my gosh, Leo. He broke off. I just got him up and he broke uh, off. I'm a giant. He's so big. It's oh, James got him a rainbow trout. Here, pick it up, bud. Pick it up. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. Ain't that cool, bud? <laughs>